What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we have a freaking epic WWE figure review right here, and it is of this brand new WrestleMania 34 series, WrestleMania 23 John Cena, and it looks absolutely swag sauce. And what I mean by that is that it is so dope. We get we finally get some longer green shorts. There are some inaccuracies that I am going to get into, and they really piss me off. Like, they're pretty freaking epic like there, yeah there's some things that they totally half-assed on this figure and we're gonna get into that but um this is from his wrestlemania 23 match with Shawn michaels which is an epic match you should definitely go check that out if you haven't already if you do follow this channel you know that i'm the biggest cena mark in the world and i literally have like 85 elite cenas in my collection so this one will fit into um two figures that i already have from this sort of era well, I have a few from around this era, but this is like a moment that fits perfectly between two. But I'll get into that in just a second. But let's go ahead and get into this figure review because I just can't wait any longer. Alright guys, getting into the packaging of these brand new WrestleMania 34 Elites. You see we have the purple and gold, which looks freaking fantastic. You have the WrestleMania 34 logo right here. And you know, of course, um, it has this little logo because uh, it is in New Orleans this year. Fantastic. I would love to go since it is pretty close to Alabama. But you have the front view window right here. We get the brand new Elite Collection logo there. Spinning it around, it says John Cena with that gold color there. On the back, we do get a freaking epic picture of John Cena right here. But upon further investigation, these wristbands and that hat up there are totally photoshopped. And I think it's because um, he wore this shirt with different armbands and hat. Um, which I'll get into in just a minute, but I think that is totally photoshopped, and if I can, I'll bring up a picture of what this actual picture is from. Um, but here we have some information about John Cena. We get in the Motor City main event of WrestleMania 23. It was Icon versus Icon as John Cena defeated Shawn Michaels in a dream match for the ages. So if you want to see the rest of the figures in the wave, there they are. We got Brutus Beefcake, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens, which are all very dope. Other side of the box, we have John Cena right here looking swag again. Um, the color right here on this Live Fast right here is really dope in person. But that is the complete packaging, guys. So now let's go ahead and crack this open. All right, guys, here we have John Cena out of the packaging, fully dressed up in his WrestleMania 23 gear. And, of course, that match against Shawn Michaels was for the WWE Championship, which we have him displaying right here. He did retain the title in that matchup, and it was just a freaking hellacious matchup. I'm talking great spots, freaking springboard moonsault from HBK to the outside, and all of that good jazz. But definitely go watch that. Um, not one of my favorite entrances of John Cena. I'm not a big fan of the car, you know, going around the streets and then coming through the plexiglass or whatever it was. Not the biggest fan of that entrance. However, still a very dope match and just an awesome moment in his career overcoming the icon Shawn Michaels. But at first glance, this figure is really nice. But when I get a, uh in-depth look at this figure here in just a second... You will see there are plenty of inaccuracies that we just have to address. But there are some good things that they did with this figure, which we will get into as well. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right, guys, here we have the John Cena at the top of the head. And I think this is a really nice John Cena head scan. Better than the newer Elites that we have gotten. Definitely better than Elite 54. Um, this one is slightly different than any other John Cena head scan. So I think it is brand new or it's just like a little bit remodded. But I am a definite fan of it. I think it does represent him from that time frame very, very well. Um, again, yeah, very nice John Cena head scan. Going down into the torso, it's that same John Cena torso that we have gotten in the past with his earlier elites. It's not the more ripped up one that is, you know, more modern like the Elite 51 or Elite 54. Um, same bigger arms. We did not get a bicep band, which is pretty uh, crap, but I think I can understand why, and it is because they didn't want to do this camo pattern, but... This camo pattern is definitely not accurate at all. You see the dog logos right there. I have a John Cena that is from this exact era right here. And I'm going to go ahead and compare the two arms right here. And if you just look right here, look at the difference between that. This was made by Showstopper Custom Figs and just a lot more detailed. The decals are more accurate, larger, more detailed, like just... I don't know. I feel like Mattel half-asses a lot of their stuff. They take shortcuts and it totally... Uh, hurts the figure in a big way you see here with the bicep band it is uh regret nothing fearless it's very awesome bicep band the colors right here are supposed to be a little bit lighter it's not a huge deal but i wish they would have included that bicep band that is pretty frustrating 
Um, we will get into the hat as well when we cover the John Cena accessories. But going down into the shorts, and this is my favorite part of the entire figure, hands down. We get the chain gang uh, underwear, or whatever he used to wear underneath his shorts, which I absolutely love. We got the chain gang logos. You got hustle, loyalty, respect going around. That is so dope. I love that they included that onto that bottom torso piece. And here we have the first ever long green shorts Cena. I know we've had Elite 54 or Elite 34 in the past, you know, had the camo shorts that were shorter. But this is really dope because um, these are accurate to the match. Besides, they did not put the freaking pockets on the side, which is very disappointing. I wish they would have at least sculpted the pockets on there. You didn't have to put the camo outline of the pockets that he actually had um, during that match or that WrestleMania during that 2007 run. But you could have at least sculpted the pockets on there. I know they have the mold. It's like the shield mold um, with the you know cargo short pockets on there. But it's not a huge deal. But I think it would have been very awesome had they included it. But again, my favorite part of the figure, hands down, has got to be the uh, dark green shorts. Same John Cena shoes that we have had in the past. The black ones right there. The shoes he wore at that WrestleMania were black and white. So I wish they would have went with the DEM Cena shoes. But black's no big deal, and at least it's semi-accurate. But now that we have taken a closer look at the figure, let's take a closer look at his accessories. All right, guys, getting into the accessories for this figure. First up, we have the always infamous dog tags that come on all John Cena figures. Nothing special about those. Up next, we have his T-shirt right here. And I have a lot of complaints about this T-shirt. First of all, the graphic is too small, and it looks like they redrew the graphic because this is not an accurate graphic. Um, I have a John Cena right here, and this is the accurate logo and the size of the logo that's on the shirt. So here you see the comparison. Um, Mattel's is just really small, and they redrew it. You get all the details with the custom shirt from Ring Bling, and then this one is just eh. So that's my first complaint. They also did not include his Chain Gang logo on the sleeve, which I guess... I know why they didn't put it on the shirt. It's because it's half-assed on the hat as well, and they didn't want to put the inaccurate AF logo from the hat which we are getting into now onto the shirt but you see there that the like colors of the logo is clearly like brown instead of orange like it's supposed to be. Alright guys so here we have the hat and you see on the logo right there it has like brown details and the details on the hat are nowhere near accurate like I have the hat right here off of my other uh, chain gang John Cena and this one is way more accurate the uh, the the colors at least as you see here um, the logo is much more accurate to the actual logo in real life uh, it's more of a orangish brown and then this one's like a really dark brown however the mold on this one is definitely right I did not have this uh, molded hat for the uh, for this so I will have to get this remade so showstopper you will have to paint this hat to the colors of this one so it is accurate but um, I do love the mold of this hat this is really nice I think it's very very accurate but again, the colors are just way off. There's no detail in the camo. It's just sort of like the Stone Cold Steve Austin DM hat. It's just sort of thrown together. Um, so that's annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. I guess Mattel is always half button. They could have at least threw more colors in there because, as you see from this hat, so clean. And all the different colors really make the hat pop like it really does in real life. But, yeah, that is his accessories. I wish they would have included a WWE Championship, but now we will compare the figure to some other Cena's. Alright guys, here we have three different John Cena's from three different moments in his career. Right here we have more of a late 2006, early 2007. Right here in the middle, the figure that we got from WrestleMania 23 is more of a early, mid, sort of 2007 era. And then over here on the right we have more of a late 2007, early 2008, where he used this shirt with the white armbands, which I absolutely love. I love this attire, so dope. Um... The two custom Cena's obviously are custom made because Mattel has not given us any uh, Cena's from this era besides the one we just got. And again with the details like I've discussed in the hat and the armbands they just could have done it a lot better. It's not a huge deal but it is just it's, it's enough for me to want to change it. It's not accurate enough for me so I will be getting that fixed. Again I do love the hat. I absolutely love the mold they went with for the hat. I think they did a very good job on that. And I'm not sure if that is the reused mold from the DX Elite 7 Triple H hat um, that had the DX Army logo or whatever it was. If that's the same mold, please let me know down in the comment section below because um, I have not ever had that figure complete. I have the figure, just never had that hat accessory to do a comparison. But this figure is overall nice. If you're looking for a Cena from this era, I definitely recommend it. Or if you're a big Cena uh, fan, I definitely recommend it as well. Um, I just have really high standards when it comes to my Cena figures, so I'm pretty picky. 
So I will be customizing it, but I definitely think it is worth the pickup. But that's going to do it for this review, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave a like and comment down below what you think of this John Cena. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.